What's up guys? Uh, I'm going to show you how we made this song. And we decided to cover the vocals so we could put it on Spotify uh, with some help from our homie Jean-Louis. So these are what the vocals sound like uh, by themselves. It's actually Jean-Louis and I kind of layered together with some distortion and some stutter effects. Nice and gritty. Um, everything together with that. Gotta have some bouncy drums for this. Um, these are kind of what they sound like. Lots of fun glitches and hi-hats to keep it moving. Ugh. Sometimes we like to put the... Uh, put some of the drums a little bit behind the beat it gives it kind of that off kilter swung feel that you hear a lot of ba uh, you hear a lot in bass music um, let's take a look at these basses here's what they sound like soloed um, you know everything's pretty simple um, it was just this top noise right here that's what the serum looks like That kind of bubbly effect is just controlled with this cutoff. Uh, just automated it a little bit at the end of the beat right here. Oh yeah. Uh, we have this resampled bass right here. Very buzzy, a little bit of saturator on it. And then here's the chonky boy. Very simple wavetables, LFO. Um, what else we got? Uh, we just got this uh, very bouncy vocal sample just found from Splice. Some slap delay on there, OTT compressor. Goodness. Jean-Louis going dumb on those vocals, uh, me just behind him. I kind of just did like a vocal fry underneath him and distorted it a lot because I can't scream. So uh, that's how we kind of disguised it. Lots of layers. Uh, that's yours truly. That's uh, Jean-Louis having a manic episode in the booth. Sounds wonderful. Um, second shot. Let's take a look at these bases. We got these dirty fucking uh, saw stabs right here. Let's take a look at those. Um, uh, probably just a splice preset. Um, a lot of the times I'll just take a preset and kind of mess with the... Uh, the position, mess with the wavetables, mess with the filters, kind of make it your own, you know, mess with the LFO, automation, speeds, everything like that. There's one of them. Oh my gosh. That one's gross. Um, and then we layered it with uh, just a simple sine wave to kind of give it a tonal um, feeling within those absolutely filthy saws. Uh, the one on the right is right there. The one on the left is layered down an octave. Uh, with some AC hum noise, trusty OTT compression. Um, our go-to OTT settings is pretty much stock. Just turn that amount down about to 20% because if it's all the way up, it's a lot of noise. So we like to do uh, amount to 20%, output to 10, just kind of boost it up a little all those together gosh um what we got next a 
Where is it? So many bases, so little time. Why can't I find it? Fuck. There we go. A nice friendly alien wub right here. Again, with some OTT on it. I'll show you what the serum looks like. There we go. Lots of some wiggly basic shapes. If it's got a sub oscillator on it, um, usually putting a saturator and a OTT on it will really beef it up and kind of push that noise through the mix. Um, let's go to... This sound is probably my favorite in this entire song. Not that one. There we go. UFO Chonk, appropriately named. Oh my gosh. Um, the Add Seconds wavetable can give you some pretty wonky sounds. FM from B, another basic shape with the band reject filter on it. Messing with the uh, with the rezo on that one and the filter cutoff kind of spans through the spectrum and gives you some really cool noises. Woo! They're coming for us. That layered with a sub. And then we got these two little alien wubs just kind of talking to each other. It's almost as if this one is asking a question. And then this one gives the answer. Duh. Alien language, baby. What else we got? Here we go. Um, let's take a look at these drums. Lately, we've been really into the drum bus. Um, it's just a really simple tool that kind of beefs it up a bit. We like to use this transient knob right here to kind of bring out those top ends and usually kicks and snares. Because um, a, a lot of the times we'll kind of have to layer a deep kick with the top noise just so we can kind of punch through the mix but with this drum bus you don't have to do a bunch of layers just kind of push this transient up a bit and it gives you a nice uh, punchy kick yeah you could put this boom all the way up gives it almost like a 808 effect all kinds of fun stuff you could do with that one um so yeah that's pretty much it this one was really fun to make we had to make it kind of fast because it blew up on tiktok and uh yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, let us know.